Hey friends, welcome to the Swing My Heart podcast with your host, Nicole and Hannah. Come join us for some hopeful conversations about heartfelt entertainment that makes your heart swing. Hey y'all, welcome to the second annual Swing My Heart podcast awards with your host, Nicole and Hannah. We're so excited to recognize some of the best in heartful entertainment for 2022 with some help from some very special guests and familiar faces. Without further ado, here are this year's awards. We hope you enjoy. For our first category, we're handing the mic over to our friends at the Suspenders Unbuttoned podcast, Sarah and Julie, to announce the Happily Ever After Award for the best 2022 Hallmark Channel rom-com. This is Julie and Sarah from Suspenders Unbuttoned Podcast. And we are here to present the Happily Ever After Award, best 2022 Hallmark Channel rom-com. In 2022, Hallmark gave us tickets to rom-coms that made us laugh and cry, gave us butterflies, and filled us with the magic of love through style and grace, song and dance, and a wicked Boston accent. The nominees are Romance and Style, The Wedding Veil, Two Tickets to Paradise, Merry Go Round, Feeling Butterflies, Just One Kiss, and the winner is The Wedding Veil. Congratulations. Congratulations! This movie won our hearts with a stolen taxi and the Boston accent. Thanks so much, Sarah and Julie, for announcing the winner for that category. And a huge congratulations to the entire cast and crew of The Wedding Veil. This movie really did exceed our expectations. And made us believe in Happily Ever After with the magic of the veil. And for our next award, our friend at Dear Hallmark, Vara, will be announcing the winner for the Well Played Award, which is the best 2022 Hallmark Movies and Mysteries movie. Hi everyone, it's Dara and I'm here to present to you the best 2022 Hallmark movies and mystery movie. Here are the nominees. We have Dying for Chocolate, A Curious Caterer Mystery, North to Home, Always Amore, Color My World with Love, Perfect Harmony, and Unthinkably Good Things. And the winner is North to home. Congratulations to the winner and everyone involved. Thank you so much, Dara, for announcing this category in our awards. And a huge congratulations to the entire cast and crew of this amazing heartfelt movie. This movie certainly tugged at our heartstrings and showed us the importance of family relationships. And before we get into our next category, we wanted to read a short message from Barbara Niven herself, thanking the fans for their support of this movie. She said, thanks for voting for North to Home. It was a special movie for all of us who filmed it, and I'm so glad you liked it. And then she sent a heart. Thank you so much, Barbara, for that wonderful message. We're looking forward to all of your future projects. And our next award is the Noel Award for the Best 2022 Hallmark Channel Christmas Movie. Here to announce the winner for this category is our friend Cammie from Deliver Me a Podcast. Take it away, Cammie. Hello, everyone. I am Cammie Clements from Deliver Me a Podcast, and I have the great honor of presenting the Noel Award, which is the best 2022 Hallmark Channel Christmas movie. I even wore red and sparkles for the occasion. The nominees are Three Wise Men and a Baby. My Grown Up Christmas List, Haul Out the Holly, A Holiday Spectacular, Ghosts of Christmas Always, and Christmas at the Golden Dragon. A tough choice to be sure, but I hold in my hand the results. And the winner of the Noel Award is... My grown up Christmas list. I can't say I disagree. Congratulations to all of you wonderful cast and crew of this incredible movie that I personally can't stop watching. Thanks so much, Cammie, for presenting this award. 
Congratulations to the entire cast and crew of my grown up Christmas list. From the cinematography to the chemistry between Kevin and Kayla and everything in between, this movie really put us in the Christmas spirit. Our next category is the Inspiration Award, Best 2022 Miracles of Christmas Movie. And to present the nominees and the winner for this category is our friend Betsy at Hallmark Happenings. Hey everyone, it's Betsy from Hallmark Happenings and today I'm going to be presenting three different categories of awards. Best 2022 Miracles of Christmas Movie. The nominees are The Gift of Peace, Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas, Five More Minutes, Moments Like These, and A Maple Valley Christmas. And the winner is The Gift of Peace. Thank you, Betsy, for presenting this award. And congratulations to the entire cast and crew of The Gift of Peace. This inspirational movie tackled real life struggles, showed us the beauty of healing, and taught us how to have faith the size of a mustard seed. And here to accept our awards are some of the cast and crew of The Gift of Peace. Hey guys, I'm Tyler Stracely. I'm one of the writers of The Gift of Peace. And I just want to say thank you so much to the fans for nominating us uh, for Best 2022 Miracles of Christmas Movie. Uh, and we won. So I am just so honored. Um, and I want to thank the hosts of the Swing My Heart podcast as well. Uh, we worked so hard on this movie and we... Uh, even the cast had such amazing stories that came from it and that went into it that kind of made it so authentic and so real. Um, and we're just so blessed to be able to do something that touched on some really kind of like heavy issues, but also with joy and peace and hope. So um, yeah, once again, just thank you so much. It's such an honor. Appreciate it. Hello, everybody. My name is Cardi Wong. I play the role of Justin Chang in The Gift of Peace. And today I am so honored to be um, receiving the award on behalf of all my cast and crew for the Best Miracles of Christmas Movie 2022, uh, voted on by all, all the lovely fans of the Swing My Heart podcast. Um, yeah, obviously doing this movie meant the world to us. I think, I think grief is a universal hurt that we, we can all share because because grief is just all the love that we couldn't give to the ones who may have passed or are just no longer in our life. So this story um, was very important to us and it was very important for us to share it in such a way and for it to be received so warmly. Uh, we, we, we've been so flattered and honored to hear of everyone else's stories and, and how they, they, they take in different parts of our movie and, and it's you know related to them so deeply. So thank you all so much. Uh, we, this is our dream job. We, we love what we do. So for it to be received well, um, yeah, it means the world. It means the world for me, too, certainly. So thank you again to everybody at the podcast. We love you. Until Hi next everyone. time. everyone. My name is Princess Davis, and I play Regina in The Gift of Peace. I just want to thank everyone so much for voting for The Gift of Peace for the Best Miracles of Christmas movie of 2022. Filming this movie was such an incredible experience. Everything on set was so joyful. And I know that it was a real healing experience to me and so many of my cast members. Again, thank you so much for the incredible reception and thank you for supporting our movie. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much, Tyler, Cardi, and Princess for those heartfelt messages. We are so excited to see all your future work. Next up is our Spotlight Award, which is the best performance in a Hallmark movie. The nominees are Tyler Hines, Three Wise Men and a Baby, Kevin McGarry, My Grown Up Christmas List, Nikki DeLoach, The Gift of Peace, Wes Brown, Haul Out the Holly, Brendan Elliott, The Gift of Peace, Kimberly Sustad, Lights, Camera, Christmas, Brendan Penny, In Merry Measure, and Barbara Niven, in North to Home. And the winner of our Spotlight Award goes to none other than Nikki Deloach from The Gift of Peace. Congratulations to Nikki for her beautiful portrayal of Tracy in a very honest way. Congratulations, Nikki. Next up is the All of Feels Award for favorite moment in a Hallmark movie. And here to present this award is our friends Carrie and Morgan at the Honest to Goodness podcast. Hey y'all, this is the nominations for favorite moment in a Hallmark movie. The nominees are 
The Dance from Three Wise Men and a Baby. Luke and Taylor's First Kiss on the Bridge from My Grown Up Christmas List. Peter realizing Avery is not engaged from The Wedding Bell. Emily asking Jared to be Santa in Haul Out the Holly. Connor and Madison's courtroom performance in Twas the Night Before Christmas. And Jack and Barrett at Karaoke Night from Perfect Harmony. Um, below, please. Thank you. And the winner is Luke and Taylor's Kiss on the Bridge from My Grown Up Christmas List starring Kevin McGarry and Kayla Wallace. Congratulations, guys, on the win. We love us some Kevla. Oh, the movie was incredible. And yes, French Kiss or uh, Chef Kiss. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay congratulations Kevin and Kayla thank you Carrie and Morgan for presenting this awesome award and congratulations to Kevin and Kayla for this very swoon worthy scene on the bridge very well done yes totally agree next up we have the Holly Jolly award which is favorite non-hallmark tv movie Christmas here to present that award is our friend Chad from the Great American Chat Podcast. And the nominees for the Holly Jolly Award favorite non hallmark Christmas movies are A Christmas Present from Great American Family, Fit for Christmas from CBS, Catering Christmas from Great American Family, B&B Mary from Great American Family, Meeting Mr. Christmas from Crackle, and I'm Glad It's Christmas from Great American Family. And the swing goes to <gasps> Catering Christmas from Great American Family. Yay! Whoops, I'm all tangled up. Here we go. Yay! I accept this award on behalf of Merritt Patterson, Daniel Lissing, Kara Russell, T.W. Peacock, and everyone at the network, a great American family. Congrats. Thanks so much, Chad, for presenting this award. Congratulations to the entire cast and crew of this sweet and fun holiday film that brought out the inner chef and photographer in all of us. And here to accept the award is the writer of Catering Christmas, Kara Russell. I wanted to say thank you to Nicole and Hannah and the Swing My Heart podcast and all of your fans for voting Catering Christmas as your favorite non-Hallmark TV Christmas movie. I am incredibly honored and very excited for this. Thank you so much to all of you. And on behalf of Daniel and Merritt, our director, um, T.W. Peacock and MPCA and the Great American Family Channel, I just want to say thank you so very much to all of you. Thank you so much, Kara, for that wonderful message. We cannot wait to see what films you write next. Next up is the Love Ever After Award, favorite non-Hallmark TV movie, non-Christmas. And the presenter for this award is our friend Cricket at Dishing with the Dono Fans. Hey guys, it's Cricket from Dishing with the Dono Fans. I am so excited today to be a part of the awards uh, announcement on Swing My Heart podcast. So thank you guys so much for having me do this. Okay, so let's get started. So I am here to present for favorite non-Hallmark TV movie, non-Christmas. Um, the nominees are The Engagement Plot of TV, The Winter Palace, Great American Family, Harmony from the Heart, Great American Family, Prescription for Love, Great American Family, A Taste of Tuscany, Great American Family, Fishing for Love, Up TV. And the winner is The Engagement Plot with Trevor Donovan and Rachel Foster. Congratulations to the cast and crew. Thank you, Cricket, for presenting this wonderful award. And congratulations to the whole cast and crew of this captivating film. The plot certainly kept us on our toes. Yes, it did. And here to accept this award are the director of the engagement plot, Brandon Clark, and our friend, Jacqueline Collier. 
Thank you guys at Swing My Heart Podcast. Hannah Nicole, thank you so much. Guys, I'm so incredibly blessed. It's so cool that you guys thought of me, that you guys supported the engagement plot. I'm so blessed that you guys enjoyed the movie. Thank you that you guys do these fun awards with the audience. It's so cool. It blesses us as directors and producers. Hey, by the way, if you love the engagement plot, Happy Camper is streaming right now on Up TV, Faith and Family. Check it out. Guys, thank you again. I can't thank you enough. Love you guys. God bless. Hi, thank you so much to Swing My Heart Podcast and everyone who voted for the engagement plot. I loved making that movie. It was such an honor to play Rachel Boston's best friend. And on behalf of the cast, we love each other so much. We love you so much for watching it. And we can't wait to make more movies for you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Brandon and Jax, for those heartfelt thank yous. We can't wait to see what projects you'll do next. The next award is the Red Herring Award, which is the best signature mystery of 2022. Here to present that award is our friend Jen Silliman from the Hearts of Stars TV show. I'm here to present the Red Herring Award for best signature mystery of 2022. And the nominees are Cut Color Murder, Dying for Chocolate, A Curious Caterer Mystery, Aurora Tea Garden, Haunted by Murder, Nikki and Nora, Sister Sluice, and Francesca Quinn, P.I. And the Best Signature Mystery of 2022 award goes to Dying for Chocolate, A Curious Caterer Mystery. Thank you so much, Jen, for presenting this award. A huge congratulations to the entire cast and crew of Curious Caterer. This mystery kept our curiosity and had us dying for chocolate the entire film. And here to accept the awards for this amazing mystery is the writer, John Christian Plummer, and J.C. Doughton, who we all know as Marla McGuire. Hey, Swing My Heart Podcast. This is John Christian Plummer. I'm the writer of Mystery 101 and The Curious Caterer, and I just want to thank the fans for all the support of of the work I write. I will keep writing as long as you keep watching. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm JC and I play Marla McGuire in the Curious Caterer series. I wanted to send out a massive thank you to everyone who voted the Curious Caterer as Swing My Heart podcast's best signature mystery of 2022. We could not be more thrilled that you are enjoying these films just as much as we loved making them. Um, and thank you so much for your love and your support with the first two films. Um, it means the absolute world to us. Um, I really hope that we do get to continue making these stories for you. And who knows, hopefully I'll get to see you back in Elk Park soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, John and JC, for those wonderful messages. We cannot wait to see what you do next. We also have a message from Riley Davis to read. He played our very own Mason in Curious Cater. And Riley says, it's been amazing to see all the positive support the Curious Caterer movies have had from the fans. We're incredibly lucky to have so much support, and it means the world to all of us. For all the fans listening, I want you to know Andrew, Nikki, and our entire cast and crew are constantly coming up with new ideas or changing certain things on set or in the script based on what they think the fans want. You are always on our minds and you contribute to the process of making these movies more than you know. We are so grateful for all the support. Thank you. Oh, thanks so much, Riley, for that heartfelt message. Yes, thank you so much, Riley. You do an incredible job in your role as Mason, and we hope to see many more Curious Caterer films in the future. Next up is the Coming Home Award, Best TV Series of 2022. And the nominees are Chesapeake Shores, Hallmark Channel, When Calls the Heart, Hallmark Channel, Heartland, Up TV, and Mystic, Up TV. And the winner of the Coming Home Award is none other than Chesapeake Shores. I can't think of a better show that brings us home and makes us feel more like family than this one. My thoughts, exactly. Totally agree. Congratulations to the entire cast and crew of Chesapeake Shores. It is so well-deserved. Yes. And here to accept the award for this wonderful TV show is none other than Wesley Salter. 
Yes, if I could please have a cob salad and a flat white. No, that would be everything. Of course, my name is Mandrake. M-A-N-D-R-A-K-E. Mandrake. You have a wonderful day. Hannah, Nicole, and all the Swing My Heart podcast followers, this is a Mandrake thank you for voting Chesapeake Shores the best TV series of 2022. One thing to do, because Chessies rock, and that's a Mandrake dance. <laughs>
Jessica Sipos, Chesapeake Shores, Johanna Newmarch, One Calls the Heart, and Jessica Seen, Heartland. And the winner is... <laughs> you can help Chrissy. <laughs> Kayla Wallace. Congratulations, Kayla. Frisbee says congratulations, too. Thanks so much, Jackson Cassie, for announcing this award. And congratulations to Kayla Wallace on her fantastic portrayal of Fiona Miller in When Calls the Heart. Very well deserved. Next up is our Powerhouse Award, Best Male Supporting Actor in a TV Series. And here to present this award and say the nominees are our friends, Carrie and Morgan, from the Honest to Goodness podcast. Hi, y'all. And we are here to present the award for the Best Male Supporting Actor in a TV Series. And your nominees are Martin Cummins for When Calls the Heart, Carlo Marx, Chesapeake Shores, Carrie James in Heartland, or Stephen Hazar in Chesapeake Shores. Envelope, please, madam. Thank you. And the winner is. Martin Cummins for We Called the Heart. Congratulations, Martin. We love Henry Gowan, oh. obviously. His character arc has been chef's kiss. This perfection. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Carrie and Morgan, for announcing this award. And congratulations to Martin Cummins for his portrayal of Henry Gowan. When else could do it like he does? Could not agree more. His character arc in When Calls the Heart has been one of the best things to watch on this show. The next category is the Heroine Award, which is the best lead female actor in a TV series. Here to announce the nominees and the winner is our friend Dara from Dear Hallmark. Hi everyone, it's Dara, and I'm here to present to you the best lead female actor in a TV series. And the nominees are Amelia Uru from Chesapeake Shores, Andrea Brooks from When Calls the Heart, Pascal Hutton from When Calls the Heart, Amber Marshall from Heartland, and Aaron Krako from When Calls the Heart. And the winner is Amelia Uru from Chesapeake Shores, Free O'Brien. Congratulations, Amelia. Thanks so much, Star, for announcing this award. And congratulations to Amelia Ullerup for her amazing portrayal as Brie O'Brien in the past six seasons of Chesapeake Shores. We could not imagine anyone else in this role. Next up is our Hero Award, Best Male lead actor in a TV series. And here to present that award is Wendy with the Head Over Heels podcast. Hi, this is Wendy from Head Over Heels and I am here to announce the award for best lead male actor in a TV series. The nominees are Kevin McGarry from One Calls the Heart, Chris McNally from One Calls the Heart, Kevin Smith from One Calls the Heart, Brendan Penny from Chesapeake Shores, and Treat Williams from Chesapeake Shores. The award goes to Kevin McGarry from When Calls the Heart. But are we surprised? <laughs> Thank you so much, Wendy, for presenting this award. And once again, a huge congratulations to Kevin McGarry for winning yet another award for his amazing portrayal of Nathan Grant. Yes. He does a fantastic job in this role, and I'm so glad that he is a part of the show. Next up is our Trendsetter Award for Best Dressed in a TV Series. To present the nominees and the winner, we are handing the mic over to our friends Cammie and Sarah from the Hardy's Hotline. Hey, everybody. I'm back. But this time, I brought with me a very special co-host, my partner in crime and dear friend on the Hardy's Hotline, Sarah Nitch. Hey, everybody. 
And we have two awards to announce for you. The first one is the Trendsetter Award, which means the best dress in a TV series. Now, how important is this, Sarah? Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything more important, is there? Mm, you know, forget the story, forget character, forget hair. You know, it's just the trendsetter, the, the best dressed. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Okay, we'll go with that. So <laughs> the nominees are Nathan from One Calls the Heart, Elizabeth from One Calls the Heart, Lucas from One Calls the Heart. He is a pretty spiffy dresser. Rosemary from One Calls the Heart. I mean, is there anybody who has better clothes in Hope Valley? She Connor? would say this is the most important award. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yes. Connor from Chesapeake Shores and Bree from Chesapeake Shores. All style trendsetters in their own right. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we happen to have the results right here. And shocker, there is a tie. We have two winners for this category. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> two completely different types of style, but our winners are Nathan from When Calls the Heart and Rosemary from When Calls the Heart. Yay! Congratulations to Kevin McGarry and to Pascal Hutton and your costumers. <laughs> Because we know that the wardrobe department works very hard on getting those looks. Had to be the suspenders. Had, right? Had, yep. Uh, yeah, it had nothing to do with red. Mm, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I'm wearing red. Thanks so much, ladies, for presenting this award for best dress in a TV series. And congratulations to Nathan and Rosemary for their wonderful style on when calls the heart and now we have another trendsetter award only this time it's for best dressed in a tv movie here to present the nominees and the winner is our friend sydney from the living the hallmark dream blog and the hallmark mysteries and more podcast hey everybody and listeners of the swing my heart podcast i'm sydney from the Living the Hallmark Dream blog and from Hallmark Mysteries and More podcast. And I am honored to present the Trendsetter Award. That is the best dressed in TV movie. Shall we take a look? Our nominees are Peter from The Wedding Veil, vale, Avery from The Wedding Veil vale Trilogy, Josh from Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas, Taylor from my grown up Christmas list, Jared from Haul Out the Holly, Carly from the Engagement Plot, Michael from the Gift of Peace, and Catherine from the Ghosts of Christmas Always. I personally love Catherine's wardrobe from the Ghosts of Christmas Always, but let's see who won. Drum roll, please. Noni, drum roll. Our winners are Peter from The Wedding Veil vale and Avery from The Wedding Veil vale Trilogy. Awesome selections. And thank you for having me, Swing My Heart Podcast. And hopefully you catch me and my co-host Eric over at the Hallmark Mysteries and More Podcast. Thanks so much, Denny, for presenting this award. And congratulations to Peter and Avery from The Wedding Veil vale on this amazing honor. Lacey and Kevin looked really good in this movie. They did. Their style was on point. Definitely. Now we have our Unconditional Love Award. Best Hallmark TV Mom and Best Hallmark TV Dad in a movie or series. And here to present this category is Eric from the Hallmark Mysteries and More podcast. Hello, I'm Eric. and I am one of the co-hosts for Hallmark Mysteries and More podcast. And I'm here to present the award for Unconditional Love, the best Hallmark TV dad and the best mom. So here we go. Here are the nominees in no particular order. Peggy Malone, my grown-up Christmas list. 
Larry Mariposa, Feeling Butterflies. Elizabeth Thornton, When Calls the Heart. Joseph Canfield, When Calls the Heart. Nathan Grant, When Calls the Heart. Travis Walker, A Kismet Christmas. Grace Hastings, The Wedding Veil. Barbara Brenner, Three Wise Men and a Baby. So, who are the winners? It is Nathan Grant, When Calls the Heart, and Grace Hastings, The Wedding Veil. Thank you so much, Eric, for presenting this award. And congratulations to Kevin and Karen for their amazing portrayals of mom and dad. Karen as Grace Hastings in The Wedding Veil, and Kevin as Nathan Grant in One Calls the Heart. So well deserved. Next up, we have our Perfect Pair Award, which is the best Hallmark TV series couple. Here to present the nominees and the winner are our friends at the Hardy's Hotline, once again, Cammie and Sarah. Our next category today is Best Hallmark TV Series Couple. Now, I think we could argue that even just the nominees here are not the only amazing TV couples on Hallmark because we pretty much love them all. However, it has been narrowed down at this time to the following. Lee and Rosemary from When Calls the Heart. Lucas and Elizabeth from When Calls the Heart. Mick and Megan from Chesapeake Shores. And Evan and Abby from Chesapeake Shores. I mean, is there anything more adorable than seeing a couple who's totally into each other? <laughs> um, I, I think that's pretty much why everyone watches Hallmark. Probably. Yeah, I don't think that you would be very far off in that. <laughs> it's a pretty common goal when you watch this show, <laughs> any of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> and the winners of the 2022 Best Hallmark TV Series Couple is... Lee and Rosemary from When Calls the Heart. I gotta say, I 100% not, yeah, not really surprised. <laughs> no, nope, not surprised at all because who can be more adorable than Lee and Rosemary? I don't know. I think it's just they, they're a couple that has it all. They they have the sweet and and sappy and romantic scenes. They have the hilarious banter and funny scenes and they've just got the trials and tribulations that they've worked through it's it's just a full package it's an equal partnership in so many respects absolutely congratulations <laughs> wait say that again what that's what lee would want to say <laughs> that's what lee would say perfectly even partnership yes yeah <laughs> congratulations congratulations Thanks so much, Kimmy and Sarah, for presenting this award. And huge congratulations to Lee and Rosemary, fantastically portrayed by Kevin Smith and Pascal Hutton in When Calls the Heart, two of our absolute favorites. Now we have our Meant to Be Award, Best Hallmark Movie Couple. And here to present this award is Wendy at the Head Over Heels podcast. Hey, it's Wendy from Head Over Heels. And for some reason... I am the chosen one that gets to announce best Hallmark movie couple. Your nominees are Peter and Avery from The Wedding Veil, vale, Luke and Taylor, My Grown Up Christmas List, Jared and Emily from Holly Out the Holly, Josh and Elizabeth, Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas, Michael and Tracy, The Gift of Peace, and Rip and Sarah from Rip and Time. And I'm very excited to announce the winners as Luke and Taylor from my grown up Christmas list. I have a personal attachment to this movie. So, um, I mean, I'm a little biased and they're getting married now. So cute. Anyways, congratulations. Thank you so much, Wendy, for presenting this amazing award. And congratulations to Kevin and Kayla for their portrayals of Luke and Taylor in my grown up Christmas list. It's no wonder this couple won because they're beautiful together on and off screen. So well said. Their chemistry is incredible. 
And speaking of chemistry, that is our next award, the Chemistry Award for the Best Hallmark Kiss. And here to present the nominees and the winner is our friend Betsy from Hallmark Happenings. Best Hallmark Kiss. The nominees are Luke and Taylor's first kiss on the bridge in my grown-up Christmas list, Josh and Elizabeth's first kiss outside the diner in time for him to come home for Christmas, Evan and Abby's first kiss at the park, Chesapeake Shores, Rip and Sarah's kiss in the rain, Rip in time, Lucas and Elizabeth's proposal kiss, When Calls the Heart, and Peter and Catherine's kiss at the Rudy Tootie, Ghost of Christmas Always. The award goes to Luke and Taylor's first kiss on the bridge from my grown-up Christmas list. Thanks so much, Betsy, for announcing this award. And congratulations to Kevin and Kayla for the beautiful scene on the bridge and the first kiss between Luke and Taylor. The next category is the Dream Team Award, which is the Best Ensemble Cast. Here to present the nominees and the winner is our friend Christy from the Awaken the Extraordinary podcast and my happy feel good place on Instagram. Hello, I am honored to present the Dream Team Award for Best Ensemble Cast. The nominees are When Calls the Heart, The Wedding Veil Trilogy, Three Wise Men, and a baby. Haul out the holly. Chesapeake Shores. Lights, camera, Christmas. The gift of peace and heartland. And the winner is Haul out the holly. Woo! Thanks so much, Chrissy, for announcing this award. And huge congratulations to the entire cast of Haul Out the Holly. So Mm -hmm. well-deserved. This movie was one of the best of 2022. Definitely. And speaking of the cast, here to accept the award for Haul Out the Holly on behalf of all the cast and crew is Laura Wardle and Eliza Hayes Mark. Hi, I'm Laura Wardle from the cast of Haul Out the Holly. Thanks so much to everybody at Swing My Heart Podcast and to you, all of the fans who voted for us as Best Ensemble Cast. I had such a great time working with Lacey Chabert, Wes Brown, Melissa Peterman, Stephen Tobolowski, Ellen Travolta, and Walter Platts. It was really great. Most of all, I want to... No, I didn't forget. I'm going to do that right now. Yes, I want to thank our director, McLean Nelson. McLean would... I told you, I don't know if they're going to send you a trophy. (sighs) Anyway, stop. You look fine. I told you in the makeup trailer. No, nobody can tell that you had work done. Anyway, thanks again. We're really happy to have this award. Don't make me put you in the fire. Forgive me for doing this in the car, but I waited until the last minute. I'm so sorry. Um, I wanted to say thank you for voting for us for Best Ensemble in Hall of the Holly. It was the most fun movie to make, and I was so thrilled uh, to be in such incredible company. And knowing that you guys loved watching it as much as we loved making it makes it that much sweeter. So thank you. Thank you so much, Laura and Eliza, for those wonderful messages. We cannot wait to see what amazing things you'll do next. Next up, we have Best Guest Award for Favorite Hallmark Movie Cameo of 2022. And the nominees are Eric Mabius, Haul Out the Holly, Christopher Palaha, Haul Out the Holly, Wes Brown, My Southern Family Christmas, Jeff Gustafson, Three Wise Men and a Baby, Lane Edwards, Five More Minutes, Moments Like These, and Pascal Hutton, We wish you a Merry Christmas. And the winner of our Best Guest Award goes to Eric Mabius from Hall Out the Hall. Yay. Congratulations, Eric, on this wonderful award. It is no doubt that the Postables loved seeing you in this incredible movie. Definitely. For our next four categories, 
we have the Hall of Fame Award. The first Hall of Fame Award is the best Hallmark movie series of the decade from 2012 to 2022. And we are handing the mic over to our friend Jess at Deliver Me a Podcast to announce the nominees and the winner. If you've been with Hallmark for a while, you know one thing, never mess with the fandoms. And that's what makes this next category so challenging because there are so many amazing series within the Hallmark community. And so I'm very excited to present the Hall of Fame Award, which is the best Hallmark movie series of the decade from 2012 to 2022, a list which includes some of my very personal favorites. And the nominees are Sign Sealed Delivered, Mystery 101, Crossword Mysteries, Murder She Baked Mysteries, Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, Garage Sale Mysteries, and Haley Dean Mysteries. And the winner is, of course, Signed, Sealed, Delivered. Of course, as a postal, I am just so excited that SSE won this award. Everyone involved in the production of the show, cast, crew, writers, everyone is just so deserving. It is a phenomenal series with so much heart and so much depth, and it has brought the amazing community of the Postables together and um, has forged these friendships, which will never be broken. And if you're sitting here and you haven't seen the series, I encourage you to go find it. There is a plethora of movies just waiting for you, and you will not regret it. Thanks so much, Jess, for announcing this award. Huge congratulations to Martha Williamson and the entire cast and crew of Sign, Seal, Delivered. From the heart, this incredible series is one in a million, takes us to higher ground, shows us there is no impossible dream, and the world would be lost without its wonderful stories of faith, hope, love, family, friendship, and trusting the timing. Yes, congratulations to the entire cast and crew. Before we get to our next category, we have a message from Jill Morrison, who we all know and love as Hazel. She said, Dearest Postables, it always warms my heart to get messages from all of you. And to know that the movies are being celebrated like this makes me so happy. You are all simply the best. Lots of love, Jill, a.k.a. Hazel. Thank you so much, Jill, for that wonderful and heartfelt message. You do an amazing job as Hazel, and Postables cannot imagine anyone else in this role. And we hope to see you in many more SSD films in the future. Our second Hall of Fame award is for the best Hallmark romantic comedy and drama of the decade for 2012 to 2022. And here to present this category is our friend Cricket from Dishing with the Dono fans. The next award is for Best Hallmark Romantic Comedy of the Decade, 2012 to 2022. And the nominees are The Wedding Veil, Pearl in Paradise, It Was Always You, How to Fall in Love, Winter Love Story, Love Takes Flight, and The Perfect Catch, and all of my heart. And the winner is How to Fall in Love with Brooke Forte and Aunt Mary. Congratulations to the cast and crew. Thank you so much, Cricket, for presenting this award. And congratulations to the whole cast and crew of the very cute and funny movie, How to Fall in Love. And here to accept this award, is the writer of How to Fall in Love himself, Bart Fisher. Hi, Swing My Heart podcast fans. This is Bart Fisher, the writer of How to Fall in Love. I want to thank you so much for this honor. When Nicole and Hannah reached out to me, I couldn't believe it. It took my breath away. So thank you. This movie was made with a lot of love, and it's a personal story and i want to send a huge thank you out to everyone at hallmark media for supporting the film to the entire cast and crew eric mabius brooke dorsey kathy najimy 
talk about a dream team. I couldn't have asked for more. And most importantly, a big thank you to all of you for voting for the movie and for supporting it and for watching it. Sending all of you lots of love. Thanks so much, Bart, for this wonderful message. We cannot wait to see what amazing Hallmark movies you write next. Our third Hall of Fame award is the best Hallmark Christmas movie of the decade from 2012 to 2022. And here to announce the nominees and the winner are our friends once again at the Honest to Goodness podcast, Carrie and Morgan. Hey, y'all. Here are the nominations for Hall of Fame Award, which is the best Hallmark Christmas movie from 2012 to 2022. And the nominees are My Growing Up Christmas List, starring Kevin McGarry and Kayla Wallace, Five More Minutes, starring Nikki DeLoach, A Dickens of a Holiday, Three Wise Men and a Baby, which is obviously our favorites, uh, Haul Out the Holly, Welcome to Christmas, USS Christmas and Ghost of Christmas Always. Wow, these are really great movies. These are all really these great are movies. Really, these, I would have that, a hard time. Been hard. That was hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I voted two and it was hard. Yeah. Uh, so, envelope, please. Okay. The winner is my girl Christmas list. We didn't have a team Kevin shirt. We need to create that. I know. There we go. Yeah. Yes. So, absolutely. Congratulations, Kevin and Kayla. I feel like this is well deserved. That movie was absolutely so good that year. I mean, it was probably the best performance I've seen of them since When Calls Heart, of course. Yeah. But like to cool. actually see Kevla together in a movie. Yes. Oh, oh, my I know. Thank, oh, you. Thank you so much, Nicole and Hannah, for asking us to help present these awards. And we are just so proud of all of the work that all of these amazing people have put in um congratulations to all of the nominees they oh, all yeah. did an amazing. outstanding job congratulations to nicole and hannah on being having such a successful award show making everyone yeah. want to vote i mean that was crazy hard to pick mm-hmm. from so yes. kudos to you guys for all y'all's hard work and yeah we love you guys we love you guys thanks so much carrie and morgan for announcing this award and a huge congratulations to the entire cast and crew of my Grown Up Christmas list. This is definitely, by far, one of the best movies that Hallmark has ever done. Definitely. And here to accept this award is Colton Royce. Hey, what's going on? My name is Colton Royce, and I play Adam in my Grown Up Christmas list. And I just wanted to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to all the fans who supported and voted for this movie. I am so grateful to have been a part of this, and I'm so grateful that you guys really loved and enjoyed it just as much as I love being a part of it. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. Peace. Thank you so much, Colton, for that wonderful message. You did an incredible job in your role as Adam. And we are so looking forward to seeing all the great things that you'll do next. And now for our final Hall of Fame award, we have Best TV Series of the Decade from 2012 to 2022. And here to present this category once again is our friend Jax and her sister Cassie. Hi, I'm Jax. <laughs> and I'm Cassie. <laughs> That's Frisbee. <laughs> and we're the sisters behind Bundle. Bundle. And we're here <laughs> to present the award for Best TV series of the decade from 2012 to 2022. And the nominees are Signed, Sealed, Delivered, Chesapeake Shores, When Calls the Heart, and Heartland. And the winner is Signed, Sealed, Delivered. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Jax and Cassie, for presenting this award. And once again, a huge congratulations to the whole cast and crew of the wonderful and phenomenal Sign Still Delivered. And here to accept the awards for SSD is the lovely and incredibly talented Kristen Booth, who we all know and love as Shane McInerney. Hello, Postables. Hello, ladies at Swing My Hard Podcast. Um... This is very exciting. I just learned the news that Signs Heal Delivered has won two awards 
best Hallmark series of the decade and best Hallmark series. Um, wow. Thank you so much. Uh, we love doing Sign Seal Delivered and we e love even more the response that the show has gotten from all of you. And um, we're just very, very grateful. So thank you. And um, continue to watch the marathons and hopefully we'll have some great news soon. Much love to all of you. Bye. Thanks so much, Kristen, for that wonderful message. Postables love you and can't wait to see what you'll do next. Our next category is the Lead by Example Award, which is the Best Director. Here to announce the nominees and the winner for this category are our friends, Sarah and Julie, once again at Suspenders Unbuttoned. This is Sarah and Julie from Suspenders Unbuttoned podcast presenting the Lead by Example Award for Best Director. We love how the directors unveil the possibilities fulfill our grown-up movie list, take us on a mystery tour, bring us home, add a twist to the plot, and warm our hearts. The nominees are Terry Ingram, The Wedding Veil Trilogy, Chesapeake Shores, Three Wise Men, and a Baby. Kevin Fair, Always a Moray, Nikki and Nora, Sister Sleuths, We Need a Little Christmas, Five More Minutes, Moments Like These. Andrew Simic, my Grown Up Christmas List, Home for Harvest, My Boss's Wedding, Unperfect Christmas Wish, The Art of Christmas, Sappy Holiday. David Winning, Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas. Brandon Clark, The Engagement Plot. Peter DeLuise, When Calls the Heart. And the winner is... Andrew Simic. Congratulations. Congratulations, Andrew. Thank you so much, Sarah and Julie, once again, for announcing another award. And a huge congratulations to Andrew Simic on this incredible honor. Speaking of Andrew, we have a message from him for all of you fans. Hi, everybody. It's Andrew Simic, the director of my Grown Up Christmas List. And I just wanted to quickly thank the listeners of Swing My Heart podcast for nominating and awarding my Grown Up Christmas List in a number of categories. It is much appreciated. Um, the movie holds a special place in my heart and I'm so grateful that the emotional journey of um, Taylor and Luke uh, really seems to touch a chord in a number of you. So once again, thank you so much. It means everything to us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew, for this fantastic message. You are a phenomenal director and we cannot wait to see what movies you'll direct next. And here to present the next two categories, the Vision Award for Best Writer and the First Impression Award for Breakout Hallmark Talent are our friends, Stephanie and Hamilton from It's Technically Romance. Hi, we are Stephanie and Hamilton from the It's Technically Romance podcast, and we are very honored to be presenting the next two awards. We are indeed, and one is even a technical award, so I'm very excited. It is the Vision Award for Best Writer, or Writers, and here are the nominees. Paul Campbell and Kimberly Sustin for Three Wise Men and a Baby, Fief Sutton and Mark Jordan Legging for Chesapeake Shores, Sandra Berg and Judith Berg, The Wedding Veil Trilogy, Marcy Holland, Nikki and Nora, Sister Slews, Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas. Tyler Stressel, The Gift of Peace. Julie Sherman Wolf, The Perfect Pairing, Always Amore, A Holiday Spectacular, Hanukkah on Rye. That is, wow. that is quite a list. She's, <laughs> she's been busy. She's got the roster. She's been busy. We have the uh, award winner right here. The Vision Award for Best Writer is... Julie Sherman Wolf, the perfect pairing, Whoa. always a Mori, a Holly Spectacular, Hanukkah on Rye. Congratulations. Congratulations, Julie. Well deserved. Indeed. Indeed. Hanukkah on Rye was one of my favorites it was really good. of the year. It was yes. Very good. Next up, we have the First Impression Award, which is for Breakout Hallmark Talent. We've had some good people this year, so it's going to be a tight, tight contest. Yes. The nominees are. Holland Roden for Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas. 
J.C. Elliott for Romance and Style and My Southern Family Christmas. I like that one. Jenna Claire Mason, A Holiday Spectacular. Tyler Harlow for Marry Me in Yosemite. Kim Matula for Ghost of Christmas Always. Mm. Lily D. Moore for Color My World with Love. Kara Wang, Christmas at the Golden Dragon. And Hector Rivera for Groundswell. And the winner is... Do you need help opening it? I think I got it. Very fancy with the <laughs> envelopes. Jenna Claire Mason for A Holiday Spectacular. Congratulations. Congratulations to both winners and all of the winners. Mm -hmm. And thanks to Nicole and Hannah for the Swing My Heart podcast for again asking us to do this and putting this on. This is a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie and Hamilton, for presenting those awards. A huge congratulations go to Julie Sherman Wolf and Jenna Claire Mason on these incredible honors. And here to accept her award for best writer is Julie Sherman Wolf. Hey, Julie Sherman Wolf here. I just want to thank Nicole and Hannah and everybody else who recognized my work for the year last year. Um, it was a great year for me. I really had a great time with all of my movies. And I'm in the middle of writing stuff for next year. Hopefully we'll have another fun holiday season and beyond. But thank you so much for recognizing my work. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, we kind of stick in our little bubbles in our offices and do our stuff. And it's really nice to know when people are really out there enjoying it and, and recognizing the people behind the scenes. So I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Julie, for your wonderful message. You are an incredible writer and we are so looking forward to seeing what amazing Hallmark movies you'll write next. And before we go to our next category, we also have another message from the lead of A Holiday Spectacular. Jenna Claire Mason. And she says, that is so sweet. Thank you for this distinct honor. I am so happy to have joined the Hallmark family. I have felt so welcomed by everyone, creatives, crew, talent, and fans alike. So thank you. I so appreciate this encouragement. Thank you so much, Jenna, for that sweet message. You did an incredible job in your role as Maggie, and we hope to see much more of you on Hallmark in the future. Our next category is the Rising Star Award, which is the best child actor in a movie or series. The nominees are Jada Miller, When Calls the Heart, Ava Weiss, The Most Colorful Time of the Year, Ava Cooper, When Calls the Heart, Highland Goodrich, When Calls the Heart, Aniston Almond, My Southern Family Christmas, Caden Magnuson, Chesapeake Shores, Abby Magnuson, Chesapeake Shores, and Brady Julis, Five More Minutes, Moments Like These. And here to present the award is our friend, Teresa, from the Hardy Observer blog. Hey everyone, I'm Teresa from the Hardy Observer blog, and today I'm here to present to you the Rising Star Award for Best Child Actor in a Movie or Series. And our winner today is Jada Miller for her performance in When Calls the Heart. Thank you so much, Teresa, for presenting this award. And a huge congratulations to Jada Miller for her amazing portrayal of Allie and When Calls the Heart. Very well deserved. Yes, congratulations. The Hardys cannot imagine anyone else in this role, and we are so glad that you were part of Hope Valley. And now we have our Perfect Sidekick Award for Best Female Supporting Actor in a TV Movie. And here to present this award is our friend Casey from Deliver Me a Podcast. Hello, Swing My Heart podcast listeners, Casey here, and I just wanted to share that we've had a lot of fantastic movies in 2022, and it has been a pleasure getting to watch our favorite leading and supporting ladies grace our screens. Let's talk about Best Female Supporting Actor in a TV Movie. The nominees are Margaret Collin in Three Wise Men and a Baby, Jacqueline Collier in The Engagement Plot, Melissa Peterman in Holla at the Holly, Allie Liebert in Three Wise Men and a Baby, 
Karen Cooper in the Wedding Veil Trilogy, Color My World with Love, and Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas, Laura Mitchell in Meeting Mr. Christmas, Kate Craven in A Second Chance at Love, and Mary Lou Henner in A Kismet Christmas. And drum roll, please, your 2022 winner is Karen Cooper who played several roles this past year in the Wedding Veil Trilogy, Color My World With Love, and Time For Him To Come Home For Christmas. Congratulations, Karen. You are so wonderful and talented, and we just love you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Casey, for presenting this wonderful award. And a huge congratulations to Karen for her amazing portrayals in all the movies she was in last year. Yes, congratulations. You are a wonderful actor, and we cannot wait to see more of you on Hallmark in the future. Our next Perfect Sidekick Award is for the Best Male Supporting Actor in a TV Movie. Here to present the nominees and the winner of that award is once again our friend at the Great American Chat Podcast, Chad. And the nominees for Best Male Supporting Actor in a TV Movie are Steve Basic for Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas, Matt Hamilton from North to Home and Three Hunks and a Baby, Riley Davis from Dying for Chocolate, A Curious Caterer Mystery, Peter Benson from Aurora Tea Garden and Perfect Harmony, Stephen Tobolowski from Haul Out the Holly, though he was good in that. Zach Santiago from Merry-Go-Round. Cardi Wong from A Gift of Peace. And Colton Royce from My Grown-Up Christmas List. And the swing goes to <gasps> Zach Ramon Santiago from Merry-Go-Round. Yay, congratulations, Zach. Oh, my swing's all, oh, my chain's all messed up. Congratulations, Zach, on winning a swing. Thanks so much, Chad, for announcing this award. And a huge congratulations to Zach Santiago for this incredible win. And speaking of Zach, we have a message from him for all you fans. Hi, everyone. Zach Santiago here. Very special hello to Nicole and Hannah from Swing My Heart podcast. I've just received some incredible news that I've won Best Supporting Actor in a TV movie uh, for Merry-Go-Round. Wow, that's exciting. I'm very excited about that. And beyond that, our lovely show, Signed, Sealed and Delivered, has won Best best TV Series of the Decade best and Best Hallmark Movie Series of the Decade. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, what, what, a, what a joyful day to receive this news. And, and I just want to take a quick moment to, to let you know that without all of you, our fans and viewers who appreciate this stuff, none of this impetus or momentum, or none of this initiative, none of this drive that we have to do any of this is, is possible without your support. So uh, speaking for myself personally as an artist and a performer, it means the world to me that that none of this falls on on deaf ears and that somewhere somehow someone is happy watching or receiving what i do so please stay tuned uh for the, some new stuff that's coming down the pipe i'm really excited uh for you guys to see some of that too this year so in the meantime keep spreading happiness kindness and joy to everyone you meet and uh i'm sending all of you love Thank you so much, Zach, for that amazing and heartfelt message. You are an incredible actor and postables and Hallmarkies cannot wait to see you in many more projects in the future. Next up, we have our all-star awards. For the first one, we have best lead female actor in a TV movie. And here to present this category is Jen Silliman from Heart of Stars TV show. Hi there, everyone. It's Jen Silliman from the Hearts of Stars TV show. I am here to present the award for Best Lead Female Actor in a TV Movie. And the nominees are 
Nikki Deloche, Kimberly Sustad, Lacey Chabert, Kayla Wallace, Barbara Niven, Ashley Williams, Brooke Dorsey, and Brittany Bristow. And the award for best lead female actor in a TV movie goes to Nikki Deloche. Congratulations, Nikki. Thank you so much, Jen, for announcing this award. And a huge congratulations to Nikki Deloach for her amazing portrayal in all of her movies. Incredible job. You are one of our favorites, and we are so excited to see what amazing things you'll do next. Our final All-Star Award goes to the Best Lead Male Actor in a TV Movie. Here to present the nominees and the winner for that category is our friend, once again, at Hallmark Happenings, Betsy. Next up is Best Lead Male Actor in a TV Movie. The nominees are Tyler Hines, Kevin McGarry, Andrew Walker, Brendan Penny, Kevin Smith, Brennan Elliott, Madison Smith, and Ryan Pavey. The award goes to Brennan Elliott. Thanks so much, Betsy, for announcing this award. And a huge congratulations to Brennan Elliott for his well-deserved win. Speaking of Brennan Elliott, here he is now to say a huge thank you to all of you fans. Hey everybody, uh, Brennan Elliott here, and I just wanted to take a moment to thank, um, obviously, Swing My Heart podcast, Nicole and Hannah, who host that show. Uh, for years, they've been uh, reviewing movies and doing these awards. And uh, to hear that Gift of Peace won Best Movie 2022 um, of uh, Miracle of Christmas Movie this year on Hallmark is an honor. And uh, it, it humbles me deeply to know that uh, these are votes from the fans. And um, I appreciate the love and support for me and the cast and crew and everybody involved. And so um, I'm just so touched. Uh, it was a very important movie for me to do and for other people to do. And thank you. And to also... Uh, to uh, be nominated and then, of course, be selected and win Best Lead Male Actor in a TV Movie for 2022 all across the board for Hallmark is really um, uh, overwhelming and, and uh, they're such great talent and, uh, and uh, it's a network that I love working with and to be, to be, uh, to be given this shout out is great and um, I want to thank the fans. I, I do these movies and these characters and try to bring truth and love to, the, to, the, to, uh, to these movies for the fans and to have all of you reciprocate that love back with uh, an award for not only our movie, but also myself personally is an honor. And uh, I want to thank every one of you. Big hugs and kisses and uh, on to the next one. Thank you so much, Brendan, for that incredible and heartfelt message. You are a wonderful actor and we cannot wait to see all your future Hallmark movies. And now we have our guest spot award for best Swing My Heart podcast interview of 2022. And the nominees are Andrew Walker, interview number two, Kristen Booth, Andrew Walker and Nikki Deloach in our interview with Madison Smith. And the winner of this category is our interview with Kristen Booth. It was so much fun chatting with Kristen. What an amazing time we had. And thank you again to Kristen for taking the time to come on. And thank you to all of our fans for voting this as our number one interview of last year. Yes, thank you so much. And last, but certainly not least, our final category in this year's awards is the Porch Swing Award, which is the best overall Swing My Heart podcast episode of 2022. The nominees are the Wedding Veil Recap with Sarah from Suspenders Unbuttoned, Three Wise Men in a Baby Recap, Signed, Sealed, Delivered from Paris with Love Recap, My Grand Up Christmas List Recap, Haul Out the Holly Recap with Carrie from Honest to Goodness and Kristen, Signed, Sealed, Delivered, Higher Ground Recap, with Casey from Deliver Me a Podcast, Signed, Sealed, Delivered, The Road Less Traveled Recap with Penny, and the Engagement Plot Recap with Cricket from Dishing with the Donna Fans. 
And the winner for the best overall Swing My Heart podcast episode of 2022 is, drum roll, signed, sealed, delivered, higher ground recap with Casey from Deliver Me, a podcast. This was such a fun episode as Casey and I talked about one of our favorite movies in the Sign Still Delivered canon. And thank you so much, Casey, for coming on and talking about that incredible movie with me. I had such a great time. And we just want to say a huge thank you to all of our listeners for voting in this award show and most importantly for listening to our podcast. Yes, thank you so much. We would not be where we are without you. And we are so grateful for all of your support. And a special announcement. We are coming up very, very soon on our 100th episode. And if you have any special ideas for a way we can celebrate this occasion, let us know in the comments of this video. We would love to hear your thoughts. All right, everyone. I think that wraps up this year's podcast awards. Thank you so much for listening once again. We hope you enjoyed and have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And we will see you next time. We love y'all. Bye. Bye, everyone.